Hey, my name's Mast, and Battle Arena Melbourne has just been announced for May 13th and 15th, and it is the super major event for Australia Smash Ultimate. Everyone's coming down from all the other states wanting to prove themselves that they are the best, and they are not dog shit, and they probably deserve a higher placing on my Oz 50, and that's completely okay, because now's your time to prove it. But what I want to see, or what I want to see people prove, is that they can actually grind, okay? Because what I notice a lot is people do the typical, ah, oh, yep, I'll just rock up to tournaments and maybe go to a few friendly sessions here and there. And that's fine. Those two are really important. But I don't feel like people actually put in a lot of intentional effort to wanting to get better. And here's my solution. And here is my big call out for the rest of Australia Smash. It is time to get on the grind. And I challenge all of you watching this video right now to do a bit of solo practice every single day in the lead up to Battle Arena Melbourne. That's crazy, Connor. Whoa. I've never solo practiced a day in my life. What am I supposed to do? I'm glad you asked, fellow viewer. Okay, because I have the solution for you and it is through Google Sheets. I know, crazy. What the fuck's a Google Sheet? So, as you're probably seeing here on screen, I'll whip it up right now so can I, I can have a look at it. The Google Sheets is basically a way to just keep track of your progress, of your solo practice. So not only do I have the list of days here starting from the 9th of March, which is hopefully when this video is out. Basically, the first question of every day is, have I solo practiced today? And that is the main thing you want to keep your eye on. Under that, you probably have a list of things that you would want to practice. So I've laid out some general stuff here that I usually practice and that's probably applicable to every single character in the game of movement. Shore hopping, roaring, controlled dashes, trumping, wave bounces, B-reverse, up B slash up smash, out of shield and reverse, turn around shields, dashing tilts, of course reversed, and recovering. Everyone does it. Same with platform interactions. And just like try and do that in training room. You don't have to do it all. It's just a template, but I would recommend giving it a go, um, or, well, most importantly, like I said before, this is only a template and you should quantify your own solo practice. But the main thing is that you generate or create your own made routine and you do it on a regular basis. And as you play over time, you're going to realize you need to change these routines of specific things you want to practice. And you do that and you stick yourself to it. You do it every single day because that's what you need to do if you want to get better. People just play a lot and you need to practice certain things in order for your play to be, you know, intentional and improving to what you need. So that's the idea of the Google Sheet. But most importantly, it is for you to hold yourself accountable, not with just yourself, but with others, because you're not the only one that's going to be using this Google Sheet. It's actually going to be with the rest of your state as well. Well, I don't know. If you're from Victoria, I've created it for you, okay? You've probably seen it in the Gamba or whatever Discord we're on, right? That you just create yourself a new page, copy the template, and now everyone will see how you are logging your daily progress. I would highly recommend other states to join in on that as well. If it hasn't been done already, you should make it and get other people using the exact same Google Sheet. So when you log your progress, you can see what people have been doing in their other tabs, what kind of practice routines they have and we can kind of just hold each other accountable for watching us log our daily practice to be like oh yeah I, I daily practice today oh you did too that's crazy man and we can kind of just force this kind of culture together and I think that's what we really need in time for preparation for BAM especially so far out so so the google sheet is cool I will admit but how how do I keep it up? I'm just some mid-level player. Like, what do you mean? I'm going to do this for like a couple days and like forget about it. So I'm not like the goat or anything. I'm not Beatrick, okay? But I can offer like some advice that may or may not be helpful. So the first thing is to remove the barriers, right? When initially starting a practice routine like this, you want to make the barriers as small as possible. And that includes well, not having to do much when you actually go to practice. So this may be like just turning on the switch and doing five minutes of practice, 
where they'd just be like jumping around stage, doing short hops, or like beating up a CPU. It's something. But then when you make it so small to the beginning, your mind attaches to the idea of, oh, this only takes like five minutes. I could just do it. And then slowly increase the increments of practice over time, such that by the time you're a couple weeks in, you're doing half an hour to an hour of practice every day and it's like nothing because you're just so adjusted to it. This is what I do. And that leads to the next point of actually allotting a specific time for you, for it in your schedule. I all also under, I also understand, especially after my visit to Queensland, that a lot of people have jobs and that's fair enough. We all have busy lives. We're not all a bunch of smelly smashes, okay? But just create a goal that works with your schedule and actually stick to it. Whether that be you're a nine to fiver and you can only practice like two to three times a week, or only for 20 minutes at a time, you just set a time after dinner for like 20 minutes and that's it. Stick to it. At the same time, if you are in school or unemployed or on the send, then you could probably afford to practice every day for at least half an hour. But just a lot of time in your schedule and be like, ah, oh, yeah, this is, this is the time for practice and people, other people know it's your time for practice. It's so much easier to just practice instead of being like, ah, oh, yeah, I should probably practice sometime today. I don't know when, let me do, let me watch this YouTube video first. Then I'll, I'll do the washing and then maybe I'll go to the tournament or whatever. Like just put a specific time there. It makes it so much easier. Finally, as a part of removing the barriers, and this is my biggest thing. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but keep your switch like set up and ready. Because when I think about practicing, I think, man, I have to like put my switch over there and like, then I got to turn it on and then I got to get in the It's like so much effort. But if your switch is like already there and all you have to do is press the on button and then change the plug from, to HDMI and then you're in, it's so much easier for you to be like, ah, oh, yeah, I could just do that right now and then do it. Because if it takes a lot of effort to actually do it, then it's going to be so much harder for you to actually do it. And the more chance that you won't end up doing it as well. So that's cool. We remove the barriers to make sure it's easy as possible to actually do the routine. But what about sticking to the routine and making sure that we're consistent with it? So one rule when I try to create any kind of routine or habit or anything like that is to make sure to never miss two days in a row because actually doing the habit isn't that hard, right? Like doing a practice routine, but it's only after you miss a day that the mind slips and you think, oh, I've missed a day. This is like, this is done. This is over. And then you miss two days in a row. And it's like, well, this is fucked then. Like I, I can't possibly keep this up. Like what's, what's the point? Like I've already missed two days. This, I can't keep this up. Right. If you force yourself to absolutely never miss two days in a row, then you're going to allow yourself to never miss once. And then you can allow yourself, you can allow yourself to get back on your horse basically. Cause we will have those days where you're like, well, I couldn't do anything today. I was, it was a go next, you know, I had work and then the missus called for dinner and then I was dead asleep. Right? Like we have those kind of days, but that's okay. Like you can miss days, but you can't miss two in a row. When you miss two in a row, that's when you start slipping off your horse and then you're done those, you know? But finally, like I talked about with the purpose of the Google Sheets at the beginning, it's that accountability factor. Like make it a social thing with your friends and you kind of just realize, oh yeah, like I did practice today. Let's talk about my practice with someone else. And it's, it just keeps your head in it. When it's on the top of your mind a lot, it's so much easier for you to be like, yeah, I should probably do this. And yeah, if they're doing it, then you probably want to do it. And ultimately that's just going to make it easier to keep on doing it. Everyone keeps on doing it as well. Like I said before, that Google sheet is really helpful for like making it a social thing and keeping other people, keeping you accountable. So yeah. Um, I hope with all that, the, I hope with all that, we can come together as a country and really prepare for the battle arena Melbourne that is to come in May, because I want the best of my state and I'm sure you do too. So we're going to do everything we can to get on the grind. Cheers.